You're going to meet a man who has a devoted following around the world and you'll find him astonishingly pragmatic on a range of very modern day problems. Let's meet Sadhguru. In your life, if you think the work that you're doing is important, first thing is you must work upon yourself. This is a curious thing because what is the true definition of yoga? How to overcome this fear. So what do we mothers do for our children? This moment, how joyful are you feeling within yourself determines the quality of your life, isn't it so? My grandfather gave me an article written by you. Yeah, I'm not that old as your grandfather. <laughs> In reality, there's just you, me and someone else. If all of us change, the world has changed. If we refuse to change, we will be only talking about it. Today, modern science has recognized that water has memory. Seventy percent of the ailments that human beings are suffering are self-created. The experience of life, whatever happens to us, you can either become wise or you can become wounded. It's a choice we have. If God doesn't necessarily exist, why do we need gurus? Why do we need Sadhguru? When you are in an unfamiliar terrain, it is sensible to take instructions. 